Victory run a comrade last, honor the fallen, the living forge ever on, towards the light of a new day. Fuck, dude. She's actually gone. Cause like, I was thinking, I'm like, I didn't see her in any of the cinematics or anything, and I guess that's why. Gentlemen, it's time to go to war. There's dragons in here. Oh my god. Damn. Damn, dude. Is this us? Oh shit. Oh shit. Alrighty, boys. Let's go ahead and let's do it. Let's get to work. Let's pop off. Damn, look how much health I have, man. I'm. Dude, I'm geared out. I'm so fucking ready. All right, let's pull this guy right here. See how much damage I can do. Oh my god, dude. I'm hitting this guy for... Dude, I'm doing big numbers. Oh my god, look at this. And then I just hit this guy right here? Holy fuck. I pull that guy. I pull this guy. I might as... Dude, I'm just, I'm just walking around, man. That's all. I'm just walking around. Let's see. Are there any more mobs? No, this one seems to be about it. All right. Let's kill these guys. Yeah, it's totally fucking fine. Wait, it didn't even do anything. Oh! Okay. Alright. So, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pull, we're gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna face him away. We're gonna get his ass. I like this guy, looks cool. Okay. Oh shit, we got boss music for him too. It's not looking good for me. Alright, big dick damage. Big dick damage. Snow drip. Can I move out of that? I don't know if that's something I move out of or not. Okay. Okay. Pull this as well. Frost farm. All right, that one's dead. Great. Let's see if I can hit him right there. Perfect. This seems pretty easy so far. Massive fucking damage. Tundra, uh, what does that do? Okay, it doesn't really do much of anything. All right, so we just have to move in a little bit more. That's totally fine. Now, I'm assuming he's going to do the circles on the ground again. It'll be harder to avoid because of... Yep, there it is. Uh, because of the reduced amount of space in the room. Okay. And now is an ad going to spawn like it just spawned before? Let's go ahead and see what's going to happen. Okay. It's looking like the boss is just going to die. And there we go. All right. Fuck yeah. We beat him. Damn, God. Yo, we... He almost beat me, man. Like, that was close. Wait, what's... Oh, wow. Oh. Damn. Look at that. It, wait, did we just... Yeah, did we just go to Canada? Don't worry about it. I'm good. Okay. Move out of there. There we go. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it, boys. Everybody's always worrying about me. Everybody's always thinking I'm going to get God. Bro, I don't get God. It doesn't happen. Yeete. Yeety? Yeah, it's Yeety. Okay. Somebody says to turn his AoE towards the ads. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, that's an ad? Frozen Mist. Okay. An Ice Cutter. Okay. So, what about this? Buff it? Can I hit this thing and do damage to it? Yeah, wait, why can't I just kill it? Isn't that a better idea? Okay, that thing's dead. So there's just more and more ads. Okay, so what happens if it hits that? Okay. Oh, wait. What the? Wait, what? Snow? Wait, can you kick the snowballs into him? Wait a second. Where is that? How does this work? How do I, how do I kick the snowball into him? Wait, what do I? Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage, didn't it? Bro, this is a hard fight. How do people beat this fight? This one's really hard. Jesus. Okay, we should be able to kill him before he even does it again, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, yeah, no, I don't know how anybody can do this. Okay, good job. Very proud of you guys. You guys did amazing. Uh, amazing, incredible players that only, uh, only just like the, the best could ever do. Let's go. Door to Oblivion? What the fuck? Unlock the door to oblivion. Yes. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? 
Oh my god, that's a big boy. All right, Fenrir. Wasn't he in Norse mythology? All right, let's go. Do what we need to do, boys. Pop off. Pop off. Let's go. Pet him? Yeah, he is. I thought so. Doesn't Thor die in Ragnarok by fighting Fenrir? Odin does. Oh, that, yeah. I, oh, guys, a spoiler. Apologies. Okay. Avoiding that. Okay, this shouldn't really be that hard to avoid. We just, just don't stand next to it, right? Okay, and there's, I guess, more crystals that are going to spawn. Yep, there we go. All right, I'll move this back a little bit. Lunar Cry. Uh, I don't know what that does, but usually whenever the boss stands still and does any mechanic, I just move to the side of it. Okay, this is vulnerability. Damage taken. Bodery is encased in ice. Okay, I had to line of sight that ability, isn't it? I'm assuming that's what I had to do. Okay, it's fine. We lost somebody. It's not a big deal, though. Sometimes people die. It's fine. Just res them up. It is what it is. Okay, let's move out of that. Shit, I gotta move him again. There we go. Okay. And, oh, I see, I see. So then we have to run to that one exactly. Let's go, let's kill the boss. Big dick damage. Get the fuck out of here. Got him, dude. Got him, dude. Got him, dude. All right, let's see here. Oh, is this the crystal to summon Shiva? Because this looks like a lot of the other ones, too. The tales do not do you oh, justice, shit. warrior of light. Wow. Okay. Okay. Who is it? I don't know who the fuck I this is. I was given the name Izel, but I earned the name Iceheart. I don't know who that is. I have no idea. This endless cycle of hatred, of bloodshed, of sorrow. You would see it continue, O oh noble warrior of light. Yes, that way I can get more loot. I would not. I will not. I will bring an end to this war between dragon and man. Oh, shit. No matter the cost. So, so there's gonna resummon in Shiva. In time, you will come to understand that what we do, we do for the greater good. That's what they all say. For Eorzea. What the for fuck? Uh, this... What are you doing? What are you... Hit, hit her! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Is it... What is my character doing? What? I Bro, I could have chopped her, man. Wait, what the hell? What? And see, you come to us straight, for, uh, straight from the archives of House Four Temps. I trust that your time here proved fruitful. Shiva was real, a living, breathing woman. Of that, I can be no doubt. That in this respect, she differs from every other figure that we've been summoned, each of whom was worshipped as a god. The sole exception being good king Mughal Magda VII, the myth made manifest in response to the fervent supplications of the Mughal's guard. Saint Shiva may differ, but what of the heretics? They are of a tribe of outcasts at war with a mighty nation who yearn for the resurrection of one who embodies their beliefs. If that's not placing one's faith in a higher power, then what is? Crystals and conviction, Milfina. They both have them in abundance. It sounds like we've got a new boss fight coming up then. My survey team has conducted a preliminary analysis of the Aetherite ice art used to escape. They believe that what sh they believe that she teleported to another Aetherite somewhere not far off to the west. Despite the apparent proximity of the second Aetherite, however, they have been wholly unable to dissect its presence entirely. Uh, unless Eidhard, ice art has some means to mask its signal, she's using NordVPN. Uh, you can only presume that it's had it destroyed to prevent them, us, from following her. Like me, you are doubtless eager to conclude our business with Iceheart. But until another path of her sanctum is found, she will remain beyond our reach. Milfina and the Archons are sparing no effort to secure an alternate realm. Until such a time they succeed, I suggest that we are given some thought to the realm's other problems. I shall go ahead to Gridania in readiness for the coming council. Meet me at Nilfila's altar. Alright, let's go back to there. I've only been there 40 fucking times. What's this? Oh shit, everybody's together. This is not good. 
Change has come to the Garlean Empire, and we must discuss the implications. What happened? The rumors are true, then? The War of Succession is ended. What happened? It is. A new emperor reigns in Garlemald. Oh, shit. Who? Who is it? Who it be? Oh, fuck. The birth and all too rapid expansion of the Garlean Empire is commonly attributed to the strategic brilliance of Solus Zosgalvis. Yet he did not rule alone. Several members of the royal household also distinguished themselves during his reign. What happened to the old emperor? Nevertheless, it was the eldest son who stood to inherit the throne until his most untimely passing. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Makes sense. I thought us fortunate when I learned that the emperor oh, had shit. died without naming a successor. Look at those shoulder pads. God damn. Who's this guy? Damn, he didn't give a fuck. Would that the Garlean Empire had died with him. Damn, that's sad. This guy looks fucking badass. I want that armor. Yeah, this dude, this guy looks awesome. Yeah. Twas the grandson and his uncle who had the strongest claims, was it not? Uh, yeah. That's right. This guy looks like a fucking vampire, man. Oh, shit. Indeed. Yet claims count for little without the power to assert them. High Legatus Varus Ye Galvis is a respected military leader. Not so his uncle. Damn, dude. This guy, what, look at that stupid man. He wearing his hat wrong. He looks like an idiot with that hat on. It doesn't fit on his head. Look at that. What the fuck is that supposed to be? So young this Varus has torn the crown from his uncle's grasp oh, and taken shit. his place at the head of the empire. Damn. That guy was fucking badass. Is this some fucking space marine shit? Let's go. Now what? Okay. Given the troubled nature of his succession, the new emperor will require time to seal his grip on power. Yep. Yet have no doubt but that he shall. For there are none left with strength enough to oppose him. Yeah, a guy seemed pretty badass. Since the success of Operation Archon, the remnants of the 14th Legion and the forces occupying Alamigo have done naught but fortify their positions. I, uh... I would, yeah, like, I, it'd be better if I could just join the Empire instead. I think that, I think they're way cooler. But you can be sure they'll be ready to march on us again, if their Emperor yeah. gives the word. When? Not if. They say this Varus was so set upon Eorzean annexation that he spoke out against the Meteor Project. Damn, this guy's a Maybe dick. The new Emperor's intentions are of great concern to us all. Yeah, it seems that way. I propose that we set aside the Cartano dispute for the present and discuss what measures the Alliance might take to prepare for a resumption of hostilities with Garlemald. All right, Garlemald is a problem again. Moreover, I move that we re-examine the question of how our former allies in Ishgard might be persuaded to retake their place at our side. Could Eorzea but stand as one, it would deal a grave blow to our enemy's ambitions. So we gotta get those guys back on the same page as us, man. They're just fucking around. Okay. Now what? Yeah, it's not looking good, is it? Shiva has nice titties. Well, we'll see what that is in a minute. Yeah, at first I gotta find this out. Okay. Where's the girl? A chocobo caravan. Wow. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, so is that her? Who's this? Wait, who's who? Oh, damn. Minfilia, am I right? All right. 
All right, dude. There we go. None other. I bid you welcome to Revenant's Toll, and thank you for traveling so far on such short notice. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> As if I could ever say no to Urianje. Maybe I should learn Shakespeare. Moonbreeder is an accomplished Charlian scholar, and an Moon authority on the right technologies. Okay. She has played an invaluable role in our search for a means to capture Asian souls. Wow, that's great. Charmed, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Great. Yeah, I think this is uh this is a yeah, I'm, this is a great quest. It's awesome. Okay, and let's talk to her again. Let us return to Rising Stones at once. I have much to discuss. Yeah, I, I agree. I definitely agree. Uber dangerous girl? Nah, nah, nah. Uh, at least not for long. What she has for us. Moon! Gods, it's been ages! Oh, wow. Oh, longer, sister. Oh, wow. Joyous reunion indeed. Damn. Oh, of course it is. Moon and I are like twin sisters. That's crazy. Wow, that's just crazy. Save in appearance and aptitude. <laughs> Got him, dude. Now what? What do I gotta do now? Everyone, if I could have your attention. Okay. What do we have to do? We have with us an esteemed guest who has come from Shalian to assist us. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, she has those I goggles that Uber Danger join us has. Here that she might share with us her extensive knowledge of etherites. Okay, let also, us know. As many of you are already aware, she has been overseeing our research into white orosite. Okay. A sample of which she has been good enough to bring with her. Great. Well, I had to come, didn't I? You'd have to be bloody daft to turn your nose up at a chance like this. Where better to conduct my final tests than a land so steeped in ether you can taste it? Damn. Damn, that's the good it stuff. Plain the passage of the years hath done little to dampen thy youthful spirits. Oh no, man. And nothing at all to reform thy youthful manner. What is this? Oh. Orianje, where in the hells have you been hiding? Damn. Bro, this guy's a pimp. Wow. Unhand me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I come all this way, and that's what you have to say to me. God damn. I much preferred when you were pleading with me to drop everything and hurry to your side. What was it you said? None save thee can satisfy this need. Jesus, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think she's I think she's my new favorite. Yeah, this is yeah, she's the best. 100%. Wow. Oh no. Thine artless attempts to misrepresent mine all too innocent motives do thee little credit. Jesus, dude, this guy, oh, he's fucking embarrassed. <clears throat> mine intent, as well thou knowest, was but to impress upon thee the gravity of the circumstance. Mm -hmm. Lest thou doubt, a deiform entity shall shortly be summoned. Save if thou and no other grantest my compeers thine aid. Yeah, I don't- I really don't know what you just said. I have- I really have no fucking idea what that means. So we're just gonna click ahead of that. Uber virgin? Yo, <laughs> chill. You still haven't found it then. You're missing etherite. <laughs> Yo, chill, dude. We have not. No. We know that Iceheart teleported to mm -hmm. an etherite not far from the first. Yet, even after careful analysis, we could not locate the second beacon. Okay. We now suspect that the heretics destroyed the second etherite to impede our pursuit. Our allies continue to scour Snowcoat for Ice Hot Sanctuary, but we have no guarantee that they will find it. 
Yet it must be found, for even now Ice Heart prepares to call upon Saint Shiva. Fuck, man. That's not looking I'm good at sorry, all. But if the Etherite's been destroyed, then that's that. No, there's no way that's that because there's like ten more quests I have to do. Although, you're See, I told you. absolutely sure she used the first Etherite, are you? Mm -hmm. She didn't just use teleportation magics. Oh, that's a good. That's a that's a good point. Look at that. That's One a of good our point. own bore witness to her escape. Mm -hmm. I can say with absolute certainty that Iceheart used the Etherite. Okay. Okay, got it. In that case, there might be a way, so long as the ethereal current is still flowing. Got it. Truly, how? How do how do that? How do we do that? We use the current to recreate the beacon. Oh, uh, how do we do that? As you know, etherites are a bit like lighthouses. We use them to reconstitute our physical forms when okay. crossing the ethereal sea. Without them, we'd lose all sense of direction and our essence would dissipate. Well, that sucks. However, we don't rely solely on these beacons. There are currents of ether which flow between them, currents which help guide us to our destination. Okay. Now, these currents will gradually dwindle away to nothing if an etherite is destroyed. But, if even a sluggish flow remains, we could theoretically use it to direct a surge of concentrated ether towards the void left by the beacon, and thereby fill it up again. So what do I have to click on that says complete quest? Like opening the floodgates Yeah, what do I have to click on? Bed. Though, correct me if I'm wrong, but would we not need a veritable reservoir of ether? Trope. In concert, we might manage to channel a sufficient volume, yet that is not my chief concern. To direct the flow of so great a volume of ether with the requisite precision would be a nigh impossible task in itself. I barely succeeded in facilitating travel to an unattuned beacon. That which you describe sounds considerably more difficult. Yeah, but we're higher level now, so we can do that. Don't you know that? Yeah, we're way higher level now. It's totally fine. And dangerous. Every person who has attempted to teleport mm -hmm. in this fashion has died in the process. Oh, uh. They, however, did not have white aura sight at their disposal. Okay, that's true. We have the magic rock. I can rock. use it to channel all the ether you can give me into the etherite. However, white aura okay. sight cannot retain ether for an extended period of time, so we would need to infuse it immediately beforehand. Okay, got it. Just so you know, I'd confidently give this plan better than even odds of success. That's great. And if the worst comes to worst, your people won't suffer. Oh, because they'll all be dead. That's great. Thank you. Though it risk the lives of our best and brightest, we have not the time to seek other options. Okay, so we're just going to go on a if suicide mission. If the ethereal mission. current still flows, great. we shall carry out Moonbreeder's plan. Mm-hmm. That's the spirit. Let's roll the dice. Okay, let's do it. Sounds great to me. Let's go. Alrighty, boys. Okay. Now what? Okay. What is this, Captain Planet? Oh, shit. We're charging it. Oh. There, it's ready. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Uh... How the fuck is this gonna work? Ha! It worked, I think. Try attuning to the eighth right now. Feel for the current and try to locate the beacon. Okay, let's do that. You think? Yeah, it's magic. That's how it, yeah, that's how it works. 
We've done all we can, Asmongold, for now. Let us withdraw. When your final preparations are complete, you must seek out the beacon that we've created. If by the grace of the Twelve you arrive safely, you must stop Iceheart before she summons Shiva. Okay. Well, considering that there's an extreme mode for this fight, I think I know how this is going to go. Oh, that's nice. What the fuck is this Afka Appa Appa Theater? What the fuck is that? Oh, there she is. You should never have come here, warrior of light. I labor only to forge a lasting peace. Oh, shit. A peace you would deny us out of ignorance and blind faith. Damn. No matter. If it is our fate to be at odds, then it is mine to strike you down. Am I off? Oh, fuck, we man. Gods and men have forsaken shall be the instant of the axe. deliverance. Get her now, bro. Partake of my flesh. Fill this vessel with your light. Walk amongst your brothers and sisters once more. Oh, fuck. Oh, Saint Shiva. Still the hatred within our hearts and bless us with eternal grace. She turned into an ice cube. What the fuck? This Kerrigan. Oh my. What the f Oh my. Okay. Awesome. This is great. This is, yeah, this is great. Alrighty. So, um, uh, pretty much just attack the boss, I'm assuming, right? I mean, that's pretty much what we have to do. Let's go. Okay, she's already 97%. Yeah, we're popping off. Yeah, this is no big deal. No big fucking deal. Okay. Hailstorm as well. All right, spread out with these, I'm assuming. Okay, good. Nice. Already 70%, dude. We are popping off. Uh, let's see. What are we supposed to do here? Uh, okay. Uh, I didn't even do any damage, so I'm going to assume I'm okay. Okay. We're doing really, really well. We joined the chorus, my brothers and sisters. Okay, probably an ad spawning here, I'm assuming. Yep, there we go. Yep, let's pick that one up. Now let's pick that one up too. Okay, pick up both of these. Where's these ads? Jesus Christ, dude. I have such a hard time targeting in this game. No damage, it's fine, it's fine. We don't need damage here. Yeah, this is totally okay. Damage is unnecessary. The only thing that's necessary is to win. Okay, they're all dead. And why does she have a buff here? Uh, I'm not really sure why. I'm going to move her back. Uh, damage up. Damage health is increased. I have no idea why. That was really fucking close. Um, I almost got knocked off the fucking edge. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Where's she going? Where's she going? What's she doing? What's she doing? Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? All right, all right, all right, let's pull this. Let's go. I'm ready. Facing her away as much as I can. Okay, I'll move into that. Okay. Pretty easy to avoid that. Okay. Hailstorm, just spread out with those so they don't overlap. Good. Damn, bro, this... She got fucking destroyed. Bro, she got fucking destroyed. Oh, my God. Wow. 
absolutely fucking deleted. Yeeted and deleted. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, what about the girl? Yeah, I thought so. Accommodations? I'm capped on accommodations. I don't give a fuck. You fucked up, huh? That was some clown-ass garbage that you tried to pull on me. Try and play that game. Blind, bloody fool. Oh, she's not happy about it? That's what you get. You, of all people, should understand the suffering war begets. That no sacrifice is too great if it brings an end to the violence. Mine is the righteous cause. You fight in a war you do not understand. A pawn of liars and schemers. What the fuck? And they are no less ignorant than you. Following the creed of their fathers without question, never thinking to ask Look, just because you want to fuck a dragon doesn't mean we have to reinvent the whole world. Trapped in a delusion of their own creation and blind to the Damn. truth. Damn! Warrior of light, redemption is not beyond us. Yeah, that's what the cinematic told me, unfortunately. We who walk before may lead those who walk after. Seek the keeper of the lake. See with eyes unclouded. Okay, let's see that. Do, do not squander mother's gift. Oh, she's talking about the echo. Shit. Hear, feel, think. So she has the echo too, holy fuck. Okay, okay. Oh shit, it's the Illuminati. It's the fucking Illuminati, what do you want? And so the vessel withdraws. A predictable outcome. It's the Illuminati schlat. Uh-huh. See that? Think I wouldn't notice. Nevertheless, La Habrea will be pleased. How unfortunate. Okay. Great. How unfortunate. Now what? Needless to say, I am most eager to hear your <laughs> account of that which occurred in Curthis, assuming you're ready to speak of it. Yeah. Excellent. I shall summon the others at once. Okay. Does this mean the girl's there? Nice. Okay. They're like, what the fuck? How the fuck did that happen? How the fuck is that gonna happen? What the fuck, dude? Ice Heart used her own body as a vessel for a primal soul? Yep. Master Louis Soir's writings make no mention of such a possibility. Can we be certain this entity was a primal? Wait, that's what he did, though. Whenever he became the Phoenix, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. As certain as yeah, I think so. The good King Mogomog the Twelfth was a primal, I should think. Mm -hmm. Both were ostensibly summoned. Exactly. Yeah. Let's not quibble over definitions. Of more concern is the implication that Iceheart retained her will even after she was possessed. Yeah, she came back and everything we was are fine. We're talking about a mortal wielding the power of a primal. That's crazy. It can't possibly be that easy, mm -hmm. can it? There must be some sort of sacrifice required, or maybe. No, oh, shoot. Maybe she's just special. Well, she what had the echo. What qualities this woman possesseth, I know not. But full sure am I that she was groomed for this role. Oh, shit. They trained Few her to do this. are privy to the secrets of summoning, and but a single party standeth to profit from their dissemination. The Eskitians. The Illuminati. Well, I wouldn't presume to comment on how the last came to know about summoning, but I will say that what she summoned was a primal. The readings were the same, or near as damn it. Strange as it all sounds, it's really no different from what you've faced before. I see that, yeah. It's the same thing, it's just then a boss. Mayhap it is time that we re-examined our previous encounters. Okay. We gotta do all the fights oh, over pack again. your things, Ida. We're going back to Gridania. Whoa, we gotta- we gotta kill Garuda again? Why? Yes, sir. Okay. About Iceheart's final words to you. Yeah. Hear, feel, think. 
Yeah, it's to Crystal. That's what the Crystal Girl said. Hydaelyn speaks to her as well. Exactly. If Iceheart is blessed with the power of the Echo, she will doubtless have used it to further her goals. Or could it be that it was a revelation granted her by the Echo which first set her on this path? What the fuck? She did- Shit, sorry. Do I you mean think that. she has knowledge of the origins of the Ishgardian Dravanian War? It would do much to explain her unwavering conviction. I mean, you would assume that, you know what I mean? I clicked too fast. Apologies. Did not the Lady Iceheart implore thee to seek the Keeper of the Lake? And did she not imply that in so doing, thou wouldst come to see with eyes unclouded? That is true. She did say Yet that. God Zoma was a king amongst kings who reigned for centuries on end. But he is dead and his wisdom lost to the ages. Unless the Ishgardians' fears are well founded. Okay. It would seem we have yet another reason to stand watch over the Keeper of the Lake. For a mercy, we are well positioned to do so. Sounds good, I got it. Iceheart, Shiva, Asians, and Midgard Zoma. I shudder to think how they're all connected. Well, fuck. Well, I mean, yeah, it sounds really fucking bad whenever they say it like that. Don't turn your back on family, very true. I've heard truly bothersome oh, business. No. Oh, no, it's George Soros. What do you want again, George? No, man. What are you doing? No, I do not foresee a problem on that front. Yeah? The main concern is Roban. There is no telling what the brute might do. Bro, we have to have throw blades, this kid in the garbage. Watch him in the flames, day and night. What? You may leave the Sultana to me. I shall personally attend her grace. What the fuck? Oh, no. <sighs> This guy's savage. Sever one of the East Aldenard trade routes. That ought to keep Lola Rito occupied for a while. Nanamo Ulnamo. For my sake, pray be a good little Sultana to the last. What the fuck? What's he gonna... Oh no, is he gonna kill her? Oh my god. Bro, this guy's fucking... He's evil! Man, I cannot wait. Like, I hope that... I hope that the way that we deal with that guy is we literally just throw him in the garbage can and then take the garbage can and roll it down a hill. I have an important announcement to make regarding our effort to defeat the Asians. What is it? We shall begin as soon as everyone is assembled. Okay. Is everybody assembled now? Boom. Now we're assembled. How about that? My thanks for coming, friends. Moonbreeder, the floor is yours. Okay. By now, I'm sure you're all familiar with White Aurasite, the miraculous material that will allow us to capture Asian souls. Oh, so we're gonna put them in a lantern. Okay, I get it. Back at Snowcloak, we verified its ability to absorb vast amounts of ether. Okay. Alas, it leaves something to be desired in the area of stability. The stone can only store ether for a short while before expelling its contents. All right. In addition to Aurasite's inherent limitations, we must needs be wary of our enemy's strength. Okay. Our foe draweth upon an infinite wellspring of power. Even should we succeed in entrapping him, the stone will not long contain his wrath. So we've got to keep him in the box. Meaning that, if we want to kill the swine, we'll have to be quick about it. Makes sense. Tis our belief that an Asian soul may be permanently <laughs> undone, if smitten by a sufficiently concentrated burst of pure ether. Okay. The only trouble is, we can't say for sure how concentrated the burst needs to be. Without knowing how much ether an Asian soul is composed of, we're basically guessing. Alright, that's fine. Makes sense. Our soul clue lieth in thy struggle with La Habrea. During that encounter, Heidelin bid you forge what she called a blade of light. A weapon which took the form of a luminous stream of energy. Oh, an ultimate weapon, okay. Yeah, Based I've seen those. Description, we believe the blade with which you vanquished your foe was composed of ether. Oh! Admittedly, your victory proved ephemeral, 
as La Habrea was able to use a crystal of darkness to flee into the space that lies between our world and the void. So what we have to do, we the have to make a special remains, sword. However, that Heidelin placed the means to destroy the Asians in your hands. That's great. Be that as it may, it would be unwise to assume that you will do the same when we next encounter such a foe. That makes sense. Quite so, my lady. We must needs find the means to forge our own blade of ether. Okay. One to equal that which Heidelin did benevolently bestow upon her child. So we have to make our own special, uh, our special sword. That is all well and good, but it seems to me that producing such a blade will require a prodigious quantity of ether. Whence will it come, pray tell? Uh, yeah, good question. Um, oh, what if we had two pieces of white orosite? One to trap the Asian, and the other to store the ether for the blade. That's too complicated. Oh, nice try. But it's as I said, the stone won't hold ether for any length of time. We'd still need to collect the stuff there and then, sorry to say. Okay. Makes sense. And therein lies the rub. Finding a way to create the blade whenever and wherever we choose. Makes sense. Towards seem more research is in order. Just look it up on the Google. They never do that. I'm going to linger a while. Perform a few more tests on the aura site. Great. I'm glad she's going to stay in the story. And I could do with some help. Orianger, why don't you lend me a hand? D damn, man. Man, it's so lucky. It's so. My apologies, but I am required at the waking side. What? Lady Minfilia hath given me wow. sole charge of the premises. It would be unseemly. Jesus, dude, what a Chad! Oh my God! Sole charge, you say? So you're basically alone there then? Well, that settles it. I'll just have to come to you. Jesus, dude, this guy's a fucking pimp. Oh my God! Like, what the fuck, dude? Jesus. My friends, it was for no other reason than to make known to you mine intent that I requested your presence here. So she's gonna step when down? When I make my declaration to the people, chaos shall inevitably ensue. Wow. As the last monarch in the line of Ul, I make unto you this request. What the fuck? Oh my god. Help Roban to preserve order. And protect the people. She's gonna step down. Forsake them, and you forsake yourselves. For a strong Eorzea will ever have need of a strong Ulda. So Raban's in charge now? That's good. I like this. This is better. Yeah, I agree with this. This is great. Your Grace, are you? Yeah, this is. Of this? Yeah, this is good. I thought he was in charge all along to begin there with. There is no other way. Yeah, it's, it's way better. Yeah, hundred percent. When the time is right. The nation shall become a true republic. Both royalists and monetarists shall cease to be. Uldar will no longer belong to kings or queens or merchant princes, but to her people. Yeah, this sounds like loser talk. This would never work. Yeah, it's never gonna work. It's dumb as hell. This is fucking stupid, man. Roban. Forgive me for casting aside all that you have toiled for in my name. Beyond this gesture, I am powerless to help my subjects. What the fuck? That's so like, I mean, I feel like that's kind of an overreaction, don't you think? Damn. We have a guest from Ishgard who wishes to speak with you. Who is it? The Lord Commander sent me hither to request your aid in a matter of grave import. Oh, really? You see now why I had Tataru summon you. Why is that? Now that we're all assembled, perhaps you would be good enough to elaborate on the nature of the matter which brought you to us. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck is going on? Is that what we're trying to ask? The Observatorium's astrologians have sounded the alarm. Alarm? Why why can't you just say alarm? Like alarm? What the fuck is an alarm? Last night the dragon star burned with an intensity not seen in 15 summers. Mhm. Mm not since the Dravanians engaged the empire in the battle of Silvertear skies. Well, that's not good. The brightening of the dragon star is said to accompany the roar of a great worm. 
The astrologians believe that it was Midgard Soma himself who cried out on this occasion. What the fuck? After an absence of centuries, the King of Kings did return to lead his kind against the might of Garlemald. Oh shit. Only to fall in his duel with the Agrius, proud flagship of the Galian fleet. Devoid of life, his corpse remaineth entwined about the Magitek monstrosity even unto this day. What the fuck? Ariange has the right of it. Whatever this alteration in the Dragon Star portends, the Great Worm has shown no sign of life. Yeah, he's just chilling, man. He dead. Tataru, have the Domans reported aught out of the ordinary? Get out of the room, man. Like, you're not even supposed to be here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if Midgard Zorma had roared, wouldn't we have heard it here in Revenant's Toll? That's a good point. It's a very good point. Maybe we're underground, that's why. Roar is but a figure of speech. Dravanians can communicate in ways beyond our kin. Oh, they've got, uh, telekinesis. It is for this very reason that we are forced to look for signs in the heavens. We cannot say with any confidence that a great worm roared at all, much less that it was Midgard Sorma. Only by directly examining the Keeper of the Lake can we be certain. However, it will take too long to gain the Holy See's approval to dispatch the Temple Oh, Knights. that's the church that's full of fucking crazy people and controlled by the Illuminati. Therefore, Sir Emric would entrust this task to you. Oh, shit. Do you accept? Yes. Wait, is that him? So is that the wreckage right there? Oh, he dead. We can see him. He dead. It'll be so fast. Oh, shit. That's a big ass fucking dragon. God damn. The keeper of the lake. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? Bro, it looks like I'm the only person who's. Oh, actually, that guy looks pretty cool. But this is just literally. What is this? Fucking like a library girl? And we've got a Lalafell in here. That's great. You know this- you know what this guy looks like? He looks like those pictures of kids from like the fucking 1800s whenever they used to work in the coal mines whenever they were nine years old. You know, that's exactly what he looks like. Am I wrong? Papega Mimga- yeah, this guy's a- he's a real interesting person, okay? Let's say that. Alright, let's go back over to here. Alright, so we have two Krabbies. It's no big deal. Just kill the Krabbies. Yeah, just kill the Krabbies. Who gives a fuck? Uh, I learned that a bit ago. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? Son of the Keeper. Uh, I should just pull everything, right? I'm assuming that's what I should do. Okay, got all that. Just kill him. Eisenhower. What the fuck? Okay, we've got everybody here. Let's go. Um, I'm assuming this is an actual boss, so I'll pop CDs on him in just a second. Okay. Where'd he go? Oh, okay. That, that really confused me there. Okay, he's already half health. Easy, easy boss, guys. Don't worry about it. Nothing's happening. Okay, wait, what are all these things? What's he doing there? The fuck? Okay, so he's just bringing these over to him? That's no big deal. Who cares? Alrighty, he's breathing on me. It's okay. Yeah, this is an easy boss, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, so obviously all those had to explode. And maybe we had to kill them in time. I feel like it's not that hard to do. Yeah, I, I almost died there, honestly, guys. It's pretty close. Uh, one player in the raid actually almost died. Thank God we're good enough to be able to handle this fight, though. Okay, let's go pull these guys. Always big pulls if we need to, okay? Always big pulls. Carried by healers? What the fuck do you mean, dude? I have to wait for it. Watch. There we go. I knew it. All right, now what? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Can I pull him? Oh, shit. Um. Uh, okay. Um, so I think I might have done something wrong here. Let me just go ahead and click on this. Oh, you have to kill this and break him out. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. 
Okay, so we just got yeah, we just go kill this guy. It's it's no big deal. Yeah, it's a trash mob. Yeah, well, uh, that's the way some bosses are to me because they're so easy. All right. So this is a spaceship. You guys know what that means, right? This means we attack it and we kill it. That's what we have to do. Uh, this thing's got a lot of health, actually. Oh wait, no, never mind. It's already ninety fucking ninety percent health. This thing's getting destroyed. Okay, good. Well, why is it? Is he doing flamethrower on me? Huh? I'm sure that I think the healer is probably not happy about me, right? Okay. What's he doing? What the hell is he doing? Stand in a fire, DPS higher. That's right. That's the way it works. What the hell's going on here? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Dude, just get out of the fire and walk out the fire. Okay, wait, who's this? Wait, what the fuck? Where'd he come from? Okay, let me pick this guy up right here. There we go. Alrighty, and I guess I just might as well kill this while we wait. Bro, this thing's so slow. This It's so slow. There's like no mechanics at all in this fight. It's a joke. Okay, let's move out of this. There we go. Bro, I don't know what these guys are thinking, man. Y'all actually think that I'm not going to be able to do the mechanics right to beat these bosses, man. Y'all are crazy. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You're walking on a dragon. Wait. Holy shit, I am. God damn. Okay, let's move out of that again. There we go. Perfect. Everything's dead. All right, so now he breaks through this. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. The fuck is this? Who treadeth now upon my bones and waketh me from slumber sweet? How? Or you're supposed to be dead. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are we gonna beat this boss? Thou hast forgotten the face of thy lord. Remember, mortal, and fear me. What the fuck? Uh, wait, is this like a spirit? Are we in the spirit realm? That's ah, fine. I just killed boss real quick. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Disdain and admonishment. Okay. The other dragon's going to spawn here. Got him. Okay. Let me go pull the other dragon over to here. Good. Okay, that's an easy avoid right there. Another easy avoid. Bro, this is a joke. All you do is kill the boss. Yeah, you just kill the boss. It's easy. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, no, no, no. Shut up. It's going to be fine. We're not going to wipe. Are you crazy? Okay, so there's obviously like two break points here. And so I'll just stand in between the two of them. Plasma release. It doesn't matter. It just does AOE damage. Look at this. We're just destroying this boss. Okay, he's going to do the blue thing again. Probably like right about now. Okay. Nothing's really going on here. Hearken to me, my lord. Okay, let's get inside that. Obviously. There we go. Okay. Nice, nice. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Perfect. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Sorry, I was taking a drink. 
So I already killed him. Bro, this boss is almost dead, dude. What an easy boss. Get the fuck out of here. No wonder you... Oh, shit. Um, all right, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, all right, next dragon. Okay, Mirage Dragon number two. Perfect. See that, boys? What's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? You about to get your ass beat. You about to get deleted. You about to get deleted. Look at that, dude. God damn, this shit's a joke. God damn! What the fuck, bro? You think you're gonna beat me? No wonder that dragon got his ass beat. That's, that's how. Yes, yeah, that's, that's how a winner wins. That's how. I play. By her gifts, hast thou earned a moment's reprieve? What the fuck? What the fuck? Speak, mortal. <laughs> And I shall listen. Bro, we have a picture of Jesus in the living room, and it looks a lot like this. Guided. By <laughs> no <star>. way. <laughs> oh, wow. This is, this look, dude, this looks so cool. I'm gonna screenshot this. This is so fucking badass. I love this. This is amazing. My people have heard the song Ishgard. Shall burn. Good, fuck them. They're religious zealots anyway. It doesn't bother to me. Sons must answer for their father's misdeeds. Damn. Damn, bro. This guy's savage. He didn't give a we fuck. We do not forget. We do not forgive. We are anonymous. Why didn't you dodge? What the fuck? We gotta go to Walmart, buy some more light bulbs for the magic crystals. What the fuck is going on, man? Dude, I spent like two weeks getting those crystals. And What the fuck? Uh, uh, uh. Mayhap thou thinkest me an oath breaker. What the fuck, dude? Thou art mistaken. If thou comest to harm, it shall be by another's hand, not mine. What the fuck is going on? I did but strip thee of thy mistress's feeble blessing. Wait, what the fuck? What he- what, So now I don't have the echo? Is that right? I got nerfed! He nerfed me? What the fuck? No. What? How can he do that? He's... What? What the... What the fuck? What the fuck? What the... The covenant binds me to me. What? I shall watch, listen, and... <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> just got this with me now? So let me look at this. So there's a cinematic of this, right? Whenever he fights the dragons. This has got to be it. Yeah, this has got to be it. Holy fuck, man. And that's the ship that he took down? Holy, that's massive. Oh my god. That's how it fucking happened. That's the little bird that I have next to me now. Jesus. Wow. Dude, that dragon's bigger than the fucking ship. And that's whenever it fell into the water. Holy fuck. And that still didn't kill him. Baphomet's dad? Is it really? Holy fuck. Okay, yeah, no wonder he's so powerful. Jesus Christ. Is there something you're not telling us, Asmigul? Oh, I've got to tell her because that's the echo. Yeah, you seem different somehow. It's almost as if you're missing something, something important. 12, foreign. Midgoats have stripped you of the blessing of light. Are you all right? How do you feel? I'm good. I see. It's a relief to hear that you were otherwise unharmed. My friend, I can scarce believe it. You confronted the Worm Lord and lived to tell the tale. Yeah, I, be I, I beat him in a 1v1. They, they don't need to know the, the truth. I dare not presume to speak for him, but I expect the Lord Commander would sing your praises. I I agree with that. I, I think so. Away, but we shall meet again soon. Okay. Okay, let's go over here. Let's see what she wants. All done with your talk of dragons. Wonderful, because the Ascetians are next on the menu. Let's head into the solar, shall we? Okay, let's go do that. Now that everything has calmed down a bit, relatively speaking, I mean, I thought it might be a good time to share our progress on the weapon. Okay. Let's find out about it. I believe we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Okay. Tell me about it. Well, don't keep us all in suspense. Exactly. Yeah, true. Just in case anyone's forgotten, Ooh. let's start by reviewing what we already know. Oh, PowerPoint. So, okay. This is a PowerPoint presentation. Because its soul doesn't return to the ethereal realm when its host is defeated. Yes. Instead, it flees to the place that lies between our world and the void. The Twisting Nether. Therefore, the first step to permanently defeating an Asian is preventing its soul from making this journey. And okay. if you recall, when we last gathered here, I had verified that White Aurasite has adequate capacity to entrap the beings, albeit only briefly. So that's what we have to do, is we have to kill them and then put them in the lantern. It's Which like a genie. the small matter of their extermination. Uh, put it in the garbage. I. To unmake an Asian soul, Put it in the garden. one must yes, throw it away. smite it with a concentrated burst, or blade, of purest ether. Oh, shit. However, we wanted for both the data and the means to forge such a weapon. Okay. Short of experimenting on an actual Asian, you see, there's no way to gauge how much ether its soul is made of. Yeah, I would say so. As such, we don't know what etheric density our blade needs to have in order for it to work. A lot. If it isn't practical to lug around the ether we need, we'll just have to draw upon another source. Okay. That makes sense. And the only viable source is the land. Uh, all right. If you mean to tap the Great River of Ether, know that it will entail considerable risk. Meddling with the currents may well induce a surge like to the one which despoiled Mordona. This seems like a mistake. Yeah. Give me a bit more credit, will you? 
Why would we need to tap the river when there are veritable reservoirs jutting out all over the land? Oh, we can harvest those. Okay, that's actually really smart. I like that. That's great. I, I speak of corrupted crystals. It might be that their aspect is out of balance, but a crystal's a crystal. It contains ether, and we can help ourselves to it. Okay, it's Azerite, champion. Jesus. Now, corrupted crystals are indeed abundant. There is no guarantee that they will be in close proximity at a crucial moment. But what if we don't need them to be? What if we could tap their power from afar? A uh, malm away, say? Okay. If we could do that, we'd have ready access to ether aplenty in almost every corner of Eorzea. All right, so you have a network. It's like the internet of crystals. I've yet to put my theories to the proof, but I've got a okay. good feeling about this. If no one has any objections, I'd like to see where this avenue leads. Sounds good. Let's do it. She's probably just going to be sitting over there chilling. It's going to be fine. Yeah, she's just sitting there. It's totally okay. All right, what's this? Hold on. I won't be a second. Okay. I'm looking around. Everything should the be fine. The beast seemed peckish, so I gave it a taste of my axe. Damn. I know, I know. As Orion J never tires of reminding me, an axe ill becometh the hand of a scholar. <sighs> what can I say? Oh, I have that I axe. Like to hear my mother tell it, I came into this world holding one. Yeah, I, that's the one that I have. I have that one too. And it's not as if it stopped me picking up a quill, is it? <laughs> I often think of the man who introduced me to the joys of learning. He's one of the reasons I decided to come to Eorzea. I think she's the hottest one out of, out of all of them. Yeah, she's definitely the hottest one. Him and my excruciatingly stiff childhood friend. Yeah, 100%. Considering how unalike we are, it's a wonder we ever got on. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> the world's a strange old place, isn't it? Aye, that ought to do it. Well, great. We got it. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? So far, so good. At these concentrations, it shouldn't matter too much if something goes awry. Just enough ether to make it interesting. Okay. Cool. Did you see that? The way the crystal glowed? I... Uh... 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 The siphon works, I'm happy to say. Great! With a yeah, few refinements, it should satisfy our appetite for ether, which just leaves the small matter of forging our blade. Yeah. I'm not sure how to go about it just yet, but I swear to find a way. I'll put a blade in your hands if it's the last thing I do. Okay. That sounds good. I'm like, wait, what the f He senses me. A useful talent. Oh, but I can't see him because I don't have the echo anymore because the dragon took it away. Yeah, dude. That's what it's got to fucking be. Oh, shit. Anasian, are they onto us? Apparently. By your brand, I see you are an Archon of Charlian, Keeper of knowledge. Seeker of truth. Meddler. Oh, shit. I don't know what the hell's you're saying, but I don't much like your tone. Uh-oh. <laughs> your instincts serve you well. But come, be not unsettled on my account. That lovely brow was not made for frowns. Uh, this guy works at Blizzard. Breath. Let me direct my words to one okay. who understands them. We meet at last, warrior of light. I am Nabrialis. Well, I hate to tell you something, but I've actually been demoted. I got demoted by a dragon. I'm not the warrior of light anymore. And you have long been a thorn in my side. I suffered the overweening presence of Lahabrea that mm -hmm. men might host the power of gods, only for you to undo my hard work. Damn, dude. I'm fucking shit up. <laughs> yes! God damn! You settle down, bro. This guy doesn't fuck around. What the fuck? 
Damn! You must concede that I acted in self-defense. That's true, actually. Yeah, she just went crazy on you, man. Like, yeah, that's, that's, it is what it is, man. But what's this? I do not sense the blessing of light. Yeah, what the hell is that, dude? I got demoted. Oh, dear. Could it be that frail Heidlin has forgotten her champion? This I did not foresee. Well, fuck. Shorn of light as you are, you are no longer a threat. And better yet, the seal is broken. What the fuck? Now is the time to claim the staff. What staff? With it in my grasp, I shall rise above them all and take my place at Lord Zodiac's right hand. Oh, shit. Okay. What did that bastard want with us? Well, he wanted to- he wanted the staff. He wanted my staff. Nobriolus, he calls himself. <laughs> with charm like that, I'll bet he has maidens falling at his feet. Unconscious. Uh, well. Well, well, well. But this staff. You say just talking about it had the bastard grinning like a brat on his name day. Huh. <laughs> Must be quite a staff. Uh-huh. Oh, gods. He means Tupsimati, Master Louis Soir's staff. Oh, that one that we have in the fucking room. Minfilia's in danger. Oh, we have no. To get back to the Rising Stones. Not, no, not her again. Are you kidding me, bruh? Ah, oh, she's so useless. Okay, let's go inside here. Wait, oh, shit. You're here. Master Louis Soir's staff is kept in the solar, isn't it? Quickly now. <laughs> oh shit. You too. That shit got yoinked. Oh fuck. So you were able to divine my intent. What now, warrior of light? Ah, but that name is no longer fitting. Man. You have become decidedly dull and quite incapable of barring my entry. What the fuck, man? Fuck this guy. What do you mean? What's going on here? You truly do not know. Then I suppose it is only right that I enlighten you. Okay. What, what did I do wrong? The blessing of light kept you and your fellow meddlers safe. It was that which prevented my kind oh, from entering your domain. Teleports behind you. Nothing personnel. What the fuck? Dude? My kind, I say. Though it had no power over the likes of Elidibus and La Habrea. Being of this world, they could come and go as they please. While I could only look on. Okay. But I need look no longer. Now that the seal is gone, I mean to act. Unlike the others, I am not given to waiting. I shall take that staff and bring about the next rejoining. Wait! The Askeesians are the Nazgul! Think about it! Except they can talk! You can't kill them! All you have to do is fucking run from them and just stop them. Like, yeah! And, and they're working for Zodiac, who's Sauron! And they're trying to get the item, which is the ring! Some rejoining? Could oh, yeah. Then it you're was right. your doing! The Isle of Val, the scholars, all of it! Yeah! Oh shit. The you will not harm her. Uh-oh. What is she doing again? Uh. Moonbreeder. Fuck, man. Why must you insist on forcing my hand? Did you uh, learn nothing from our last meeting? Ah, but I forget. What the My fuck? My words fall upon deaf ears. Huh? The staff is but a broken relic. A memorial to the departed. What possible use could you have for it? True. It's a stick. This is fuck. What use? 
You mean to say that all this time you kept the key, never knowing what it was you possessed? Oh, shit. The staff Tupsimati, or rather the stone tablet it bears, is host to a great power. Together with the horn, it can be used to draw vast quantities of ether from its bearer's surroundings. Well, fuck. How else do you think Louis Swa was able to invoke the power of the Twelve without making them an offering of crystals? Oh, it's a staff! Summoning requires not only prayer, but a profusion of ether. Even a child knows that. What the if I did not know before, you may be certain I do now. But above all, I know that we cannot allow this staff to fall into your hands. I will die before I let you take it. No, I don't think that's a good idea to say that. Insufferable woman. I would happily end your miserable life here and now. Alas, Elidibus would never let me hear the end of it. Well, just grab it out of her hand, man. Like, you can teleport behind her, just fucking grab it out of her hand and walk out. Like, what do you mean? How's this hard? Like... Very well. If you will not part with the staff, I will take you too. Yes, yoink that shit out of her hand, man. Like, what are you doing? Wait, what? Oh, no. We're not sending her into another... Jesus Christ. They put her in a new castle, man. She's in another castle. Oh my god. She's gone again. Oh no, Matt, no. After them. Quickly. Before the rift closes. What the fuck? She's stupid. Like, she should have not gone after that guy. That guy stopped her axe with one finger. Like, what were you thinking? The, are you crazy? Like, what, what what was going through your head? Oh, me. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Oh, shit. What the fuck, dude? What the? Oh, shit. Damn. I told you she's useless, guys. I told you. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? There he is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's go. We've got to defeat him in the Cosby Rift. Let's go. Um, everybody's here. We're all good to go. Yeah, I think everybody's pretty much here. All right, let's go. Okay, Doris is just last Brea. Oh, Brea. Uh, 100 tombstones if we complete this. Okay. What do we have to do here? Uh, I guess I might as well just pop a CD at the beginning here, right? Nothing else I can do. These Iskishans aren't really that hard to deal with. Wait, where'd he go? Um, probably should move out of that, maybe? I don't know. Oh, he's gonna summon ads, I'm assuming, right? Uh, wait, what the fuck? Okay. Do I touch that? Okay, yeah, I do. Okay, I'll touch that one, too. Okay. There we go. All right, good. So we just have to collect his balls. We have to stop his balls. Okay, there should be one. Is there one more set? Because the, the aura is getting bigger. Woo. Wow. Okay. Uh, that was a lot. Okay, this isn't really that bad. Oh, he's already disappeared again. Okay. Easy. Very easy to avoid. Okay, so I, this is... Yeah, this is no problem. Okay, he's gonna teleport to again. I guess the beginning of the room. No. Okay, it's that one person. We got lucky there. It targeted the one person that wasn't with the group. Okay. Hit me. See what happens. Hit me. See what happens. Okay. Good. 
Nice. Already 40% health. Okay, is he going to do... I'm assuming he's going to do another one of the ball phases. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Physical vulnerability. Okay, I'm just going to pick up these two adds here. Yeah, that's fine. Magical vulnerability. Okay, so you want to hit... Uh, is this like different adds every single time? Different balls every time? I'm thinking that's the way it works. So you hit this one here, and then I hit this one here because they replace different buffs because one's physical and the other one's magical. So if I take this one twice, I'm going to take damage, right? Yeah, I'll take damage. Okay, so this increases my stacks. Now, I don't want to get hit by that one. And I only want to get hit by the ones that are not... Okay, I see. Wait, why are people dead? Oh, I guess they didn't figure it out. Okay. Let's kill his ass. Alrighty, Quake 3. Great game. A great game. I played it back in high school all the time. Okay, where he be at? There he be at? Those were the fucking days, man. Those were the fucking days. Okay, I'll pop some CDs on him too. Might as well. He's gonna teleport again, I'm assuming. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna charge over to him. Can't get out of that. I thought I'd be able to get away too fast, but it didn't work. Okay, hitting it with the triple. There we go. He's at 20%, boys. 20%. This is the easiest GG of my life. Got it? Uh, what the fuck is this? Damage taken from other attacks is also increased. Oh, I'm probably not supposed to, um... Uh, it's like a tank slot mechanic. Wait, what? What? What the fuck? Um... We should we move in or out of that? Okay. Ethereal tier. Okay. It's a soak mechanic. It's a soak mechanic. It's a soak mechanic. Get it? Good? Go to that one. All right, good. Got him. I got it, I got it, I got it. I couldn't hit the button. It didn't let me hit the button, I was spamming it. Okay, just res me, it's fine. Yeah, just res me, we're, we're good, we're good. Just res me, come on. Conrad, don't you, oh, Conrad's dead. Ooh. Milton, 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 come on, Milton. Come on, Milton, take him down, take... All right, all right, let's go back over here. Try this again. Shadow Realm 3. Okay, well, yeah, I know what to do now. So Conrad, let's see, where's he gonna go? I'm gonna go to this side. Okay, good. Conrad, get that one. Conrad, good. Okay. Now I have to tank these, there we go. Okay, good. And he's going to go get that one. Then there's going to be another one that spawns here. And I'll go over to that one. And then he's going to go to that one afterwards. Easy game. Easy fucking game. And I don't think I really need to worry about that one too much. Cranon will be able to get that one. And I guess I can get this one here. Yeah, there we go. Good. And I'll pick this one up too. Oh shit. That was fucking close. All right, let's do it. Where he be at? Where he be at? Oh, big dick damage. Oh, big dick damage. Let's see it. Jesus, that's 4% of his health. God damn. That's a dead ass bitch. That's a dead ass bitch. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Good thing there's no fall damage in this game. That was good, dude. Okay. There she is. You're safe. Thank the twelve. I know. You're welcome.
What the fuck? You may have bested me this day, but what of the next? What of all the days to come? So... He gets to respawn and we don't. Well, that's not fair. Remember, light no longer holds sway here. Oh my god. I may return whensoever I wish. Again and again and again. Eventually, you will falter, and the staff will be mine. Oh. Until next time, Scions. Oh. Can't do shit. The fuck? There will be no next time. This is the end. Oh, I thought we had to wait. What? What the? Oh, wow. We got his ass. What? Yes, dude. We use the master ball. What? What trickery is this? Yeah, fuck you, bitch. No, no, you cannot. No. Oh, dude. He didn't want to be. He didn't want to go into Pokeball, man. Use Tube Samati to gather ether quickly before he breaks free. Okay. How do I do that? Okay. So this is the the hammer. Oh. Concentrate. Call to mind the time you struck down La Habrea with the Blade of Light. I remember that. Oh, it's got a fucking shield. Why won't it work? Is it because we lack the blessing of light? Uh, I don't know. Damn it. So much ether. And it still isn't enough. Damn, that sucks. Fools! No mortal prison can contain me. I shall make you pay for your insolence. Oh, shit. We got nerfed, yeah. Uh-oh. Fuck, man. Please, Mother Heidelin, hearken to our plea. Lend us your divine light. Yeah, that's... That's not gonna happen, man. Why can you not hear us? Do our words no longer reach you? Cause she ain't real, bro. She ain't real. If only we had a bit more ether. Yeah, but we don't. Use the fucking staff on him. Moonbreeder, what are you doing? The fuck? Master Louis I understand now the choice you made. The fuck? In death, there is life. Farewell, Urianche. You daft old coot. Moonbreeder, no! You mustn't! What the fuck? What? No! It, it cannot end! 
What the fuck? I am eternal. I am immortal. Uh. What the? F He's dead. Where'd she go? She's she's not gone, right? There's no way she's gone. Breeder. She's. She's gone. The fuck? Are you telling me that we just disenchanted the hottest character in the game? This is some fucking bullshit. This this is some fucking bullshit, man. That's so like What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? Are you kidding me? You did it, my friend. The Asian is dead. Uh, well, fuck. Wow. I, I... This device is a legacy of Moonbreeder's toils and sacrifice. Fuck, dude. This is... This is awful. I shall hold on to it for safekeeping. Why couldn't we just use use somebody else? Be like, Tataru, come in here real quick. I gotta show you something. It comes in there. Oh, there you go! Like, why, why did it have to be her? You know, like, I mean, for real. Man, this is some bullshit. Not poor Tataru. What? What? I mean, like for real. Did I soul? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. What about Papa Potato? Oh man. Minfilia, uh, are you all right? Oh no, man. I am. This is. Oh, we were surveying Northern Thanalan when we received the distress call. Yeah. We returned as swiftly as we were able. It seems you have everything in hand, however. Uh, surprise. What happened here? Where is Moonbreeder? Well... That's fucking... Dude, that's fucked up. She gave her life to temper the Blade of Light. I... I have no words. I'm so, I'm so mad right now, man. Like, this is such bullshit. I, I gotta take a piss. Really. This is, so, man, this is some fucked up. This is stupid, man. Like, uh, why the heck, why, why, it could be literally any other character ex except, uh, except Ushwada. But any other character, I'd have been happy with. Man, fuck. Rather than await the inevitable, she took her fate into her own hands. Jesus. Does, does Arianji know? Oh, fuck. My friend, there is something I must tell you. I heard all, my lady. Damn. The moon sinketh, taking her leave of the heavens, yet her passing heraldeth the coming of a new day. <laughs> Moonbreeder hath fulfilled her destiny, hath she not? Long ago, far across the seas in the Charlean motherland, Moonbreeder and I did study under the sage tutelage of Master Louis Soi. Oh, what the fuck? Full off did he impress upon us that knowledge existeth to serve the greater What the good. fuck? This sentiment, however, was contrary to the nation's policy of neutrality, which censured intercedence in the affairs of foreign lands. Oh my god. In spite of vehement opposition, he founded the Circle of Knowing and journeyed hitherto the heart of Eorzea. Through his noble sacrifice, was the realm spared its doom. Holy fuck, Yet man. This great soul, whom all should rightly have honored, was branded a pariah in his own land. 
His peers did accuse him of forsaking his duty as a man of learning. What the fuck? Of meddling in the course of history. When he left Charleyan behind, Master Louis Soir gave no word to signal his intent to Moonbreeder. Close as they were, as master and disciple, she was deeply wounded by the sudden exclusion from his confidence. Damn, that's sad. Above all, however, she was confused. Dry as she might, she could ill comprehend her master's motive. The slanders that were heaped upon him after his passing served only to inflame the turmoil within her. Damn. For years upon end, she knew not what to believe. Torn as she was, twixt the man whom she revered and the man who forsook her and his duty both. What the fuck? Damn, that's sad. The Louis Soir I knew would never forsake his duty, much less one of his own. Yeah. This I know full well, my lady. Twas not for want of love that Master Louis Soir hid his intent. He but desired that Moonbreeder discover her own path, free of the shadow of his influence. Long did I contemplate revealing the truth to her, and long did I hold my peace. He never told her. After all, was it not Master Louis Soir's wish that she come to the truth unaided? Uh, I told myself it was, and resolved to let her suffer. Damn. That's rough. Knowingly did I deny my friend the comfort she craved. And now she hath gone to her rest, with doubt still in her heart. Damn. That's, that sucks. That sucks. Speakest thou in earnest? Did Moonbreeder truly come to understand Master Louis Soir's will before the end? Oh yeah, because what she said. Uh, the realization hath set her free. She may now find the peace which hath for so long eluded her. Damn, man. That's oh, sad. Moonbreeder. My dearest. How I shall miss thee. Damn, I feel bad for him. That's fucking, that's awful. Moonbreeder gave her life that we might possess the means to defeat the Asians. True. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Let us continue her work on the Blade of Aether and see it to completion. My lady, I would mourn Moonbreeder in mine own way. I beg your permission to return to the Waking Sands. Of course, my friend. Take all the time you require. We shall be here should you have need of us. That's nice. Man, that's fucked up. That's, dude, that's... Man, dude. Oh my god, dude, man. What the fuck, dude? Like, what the fuck? Like... They had to bring her into the story and then... Oh my god, dude. She's actually gone, man. Like... But like, all right, all right, can y'all tell me the truth? Is she like actually gone or is it like some Dragon Ball Z thing where she's gonna come back? She's actually gone. Cause like, I was thinking, I'm like, I didn't see her in any of the cinematics or anything. And I guess that's why. Fuck, dude. Fuck, man. I can't believe this. What a bunch of horse shit this is, man. A bunch of absolute complete fucking horse shit. Man. There's some real bullshit, guys. Forgive me, Moonbreeder. Had I been quicker or wiser. Or useful at all. But I was not. And you paid the price. True. But you would not suffer us to walk in our sorrow, would you? You would tell us to pick ourselves up and get on with it. And so we shall. We shall defend this realm and her people to the last. Okay. We will do that. 
We shall do that. What the fuck is this? Oh shit. Life for death. A fair exchange. Can they see him? Like, did they know that a fucking dragon just teleported next to me? Other bargains will be no. struck. It's just me and him. Well, this guy's way more useful than the crystal, to be honest. This is way better. God damn. Yeah, he's way, way better. Victory around a combat last. Honor the Fallen. The Living Forge ever on. Towards the light of a new day. Fuck, dude. 